Hello everyone, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life. Today I'm actually doing a Weight Watchers friendly haul from Walmart. And I think this might be the first haul that I've done this year or close to it. So let's get started. I always like to start with the non-food items and I don't know why, but I did get myself this flimsy square laundry basket for the bottom of my closet so I can throw my dirty clothes in. I already have a little round blue basket, but this one was so cute, I couldn't pass it up. I got my wax paper so that I could put between my little um, tortilla wraps. I'll show you in a little bit. I had to get a new spatula because I kind of burned the edges of the other one on my stove. And I got these, it comes in a set of two fun peelers. For peeling things super thin. I just thought they were cute so I got them and I got two Corel bowls. These are nice and low bowls. I have a set of white, just the solid white, two of everything that I have just for myself and I never owned bowls this shape before so I got them. Here's some Ziploc squares with the lids that I'm gonna use for some food prep, along with these round ones, these Rubbermaid take-alongs. It's got three pieces, the lid, that other thing, and then the bowl itself. I don't know if I'll be using that second middle piece, but I liked the size of the bowls, that's why I got these. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use, because I've been dyeing my hair since I was 30. I bought three of these, it's the pure cornstarch, uh, but I just put one of them on the counter because you don't need to see all three. But I did get two number eights. That's what I use. And I think that's it for non-food. All right. Someone suggested the Mateo's Gourmet Salsa. I got the mild because I'm a mild girl, but there's hot and something else. And so I'm anxious to try this. I got this little thing of pork and beans. It's only three points for... The whole, it says half a can, and there's only one serving in here. So that'll come in handy with something. I always have to have tomato sauce in the house, so I like to get a regular can and a small can for whatever I might need it for, and I got some whole peeled tomatoes. That can be added to just about anything. I got two cans of sliced beets because I love them. They're gonna be going into these these one of these two bowls so that I can just pull it out when I want it. I got two cans of fat-free refried beans. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I just used the last one over the last weekend, and I don't like being without. I got the Skinny Girl Raspberry Vinaigrette and the Buttermilk Ranch. Never tried this before, but the Raspberry Berry Vinaigrette is delicious, just like the poppy seed, and I just bought two poppy seeds the other day. I got some fat-free Italian dressing. I use this to actually cook my chicken tenders in. Um, I don't really use it as a dressing. I got grapes and some unsweetened applesauce, which I'm also going to use in these containers or bigger ones. I have bigger ones. Let me see right here. I have bigger round ones that I think I want to use for the applesauce. Put some cinnamon in it. I have my kale for my smoothies. And I have a quarter of a watermelon that I got for 99 cents. Look at that, 99 cents for a quarter of a watermelon. Just get a fork. I got some bananas, some carrots. I wanted some Fuji apples and they only had one. So I took it. I took two medium potatoes in case I want them. They're four points each. And some of these plums that aren't quite ready yet. I got one lonely lime, but it's beautiful. And I got some fresh ginger that I have to prep and um, put in the freezer for my smoothies. I thought I'd try this street taco seasoning, Southwest Ranch Chicken. That sounded interesting, so I just thought I'd give it a try. And for the first time ever, I am buying lemon and lime in this container. I just wanna be able to have it here when I need it. I got some minced garlic for the fridge and these reduced sodium bacon bits to use to top off salads or whatever, you know. Um, I like to keep them on hand. I had to get this house blend because they didn't have any of my favorite uh, Colombian. 
there was a lot of things the store didn't have. There were a lot of empty shelves. I was really surprised. I got my chai tea latte in the sugar-free. This is a zero points. You mix it with um, almond milk. So the almond milk are your only points. And I got the Zevia in the, what is this, the cherry? Yes, black cherry. Never tried this before. I'm wondering if it's just like the bubbly that I buy. Probably is. So we'll see. I got myself some Russell Stover sugar-free pecan delights. Gotta be careful how many of these you eat. But I figured if I want something sweet after dinner and I have one of these, it might help curb that appetite. Here's the street tacos I'm talking about. So tiny, they are one point each. And everything that I put on them is gonna be zero, but look at how many you get. That's what the wax paper's for. You put wax paper between each one and then you can freeze them. There's 24 in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And this is in the white corn. The, um, the flour, they were a little bit bigger in size, but a lot more in points, so I didn't bother. I got my usual 647 bread and I got some fat-free mozzarella shredded. And then I got the Sargento's Sharp Cheddar. These are three points each, and I think they're gonna be well worth it, especially when I pair it with an apple for a snack. It'll be a three-point snack, and this is so much better tasting than the string cheese they have out there for one point. That is so gross. It feels like fake plastic stuff. And I have to have better quality food this time around, or I'm just gonna get bored again. So I found these chicken here. They're chicken breast tenders. There's five packs of three tenders in here. So I thought that's really handy. Just pull out a pack, let it defrost. I'll have three tenders for myself. Throw them in a little frying pan with some of that fat-free Italian dressing and bam, bam. I got some, what is this? 96% lean hamburg for, I don't know what, just cause I wanted to. And I got some pork chops for shake and bake pork chops. You better believe I'm having shake and bake pork chops soon because I've really been craving them. And uh, the only points will be the pork chops and anything else I have with the meal will be free. I got some shredded hash browns to make some kind of a, an egg thing with, for breakfast, like a casserole, we'll see. And I got some delicious, nice, thick, slices of deli ham. This is not for sandwiches. This is for rolling up and eating with some cottage cheese and beets and grapes for lunch. I got some eggs and I got some ready whip because I have a lot of sugar-free pudding mixes that I haven't made. And so I want to make those, put a little squirt of ready whip on it. And I have my breakstone cottage cheese. I have to have 4% milk fat. I think it's three points for the serving that I choose. And I can't remember if that's a third of a cup or a half a cup, I think a third of a cup. But that's okay because anything less than 4% tastes gross to me and I can't eat it. I had to get unsweetened original Almond Breeze brand because they didn't have any of their store brand. It was like almost nothing in there at all. And then I got some yogurt. These are two points each. There's three strawberries and three blueberries in the light and fit Greek. That's it for my Weight Watcher friendly grocery haul. I can't wait to get started tomorrow. Mmm, watermelon, that might get started today. We'll see. So until I see you again, be happy and be blessed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.